Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Mungli here. So in this video, I am going to explain you all about aortic aciduria. So before I start explaining you about aortic aciduria, let me give you a little bit of background about aortic aciduria here because it is a disease associated with the pyrimidine biosynthesis. Let me quickly explain you about pyrimidine biosynthesis really quick and uh, in brief. So, glutamine is going to combine with bicarbonate and ATP to make carbamyl phosphate. This job is done by a regulated enzyme of pyrimidine biosynthesis that is carbamyl phosphate synthetase 2. Now, once you get carbamyl phosphate in the cytoplasm here, so it is going to combine with aspartate to make carbamyl aspartate. This job is done by aspartate transcarbamylase enzyme which is considered as a rate determining enzyme for pyrimidine biosynthesis. Once you get carbamyl aspartate, so carbamyl aspartate is converted to dihydroorotate by dihydroorotase enzyme. Now dihydroorotate will be converted to orotidine monophosphate by taking PRPP that is phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate which will give ribose 5-phosphate to dihydroorotate so to get orotidine monophosphate molecule. This is done by OPRT enzyme. Now orotidine monophosphate will undergo decarboxylation reaction done by OMP decarboxylase to give you uridine monophosphate. Now OMP decarboxylase and orotate phosphoribosyl transferase it, it is present in one single enzyme called UMP synthase. Now the UMP that is UMP is the product which is formed here. So the UMP synthase it is a bifunctional enzyme it has OMP decarboxylase and orotate phosphoribosyl transferase. Anyway. Once you get UMP, so UMP can be converted into UDP and then into UTP and UTP can be converted to CTP by CTP synthase enzyme. On the other side, UTP can be converted to UDP and UDP is converted to DUDP by ribonucleotide reductase enzyme. Now the DUDP is converted to DUMP and DUMP can be converted into TMP by thymidylate synthase enzyme. Now thymidylate synthase enzyme it needs N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate which is converted into dihydrofolate. Now overall we have synthesized UTP, CTP, TMP later converted into TTP. These are the pyrimidine nucleotide triphosphates. This is how pyrimidines are synthesized. Now note that whenever there is accumulation of UTP, so UTP will have a negative effect on CPS2 enzyme. That's how uh, pyrimidine nucleotides are regulated. Now in aortic aciduria, there will be deficiency of or defect in UMP synthase. That is, UMP synthase is a combination of orotate phosphoribosyl transferase and OMP decarboxylase. If these two enzymes are deficient or defective, that will give rise to decrease in the quantity or the concentration of UTP here because that's an end product. Intermediate enzymes are deficient here, so the end product UTP decreases and that will give rise to that means it doesn't have a negative effect on CPS2, very first enzyme in pyrimidine biosynthesis. Now the CPS2 activity increases and accordingly. ATC activity increases, dihydroorotase activity increases and dihydroorotate molecule will also increase that can accordingly will increase OMP molecule. So overall what happens there will be accumulation of orotate molecule. So that is why you see orotic aciduria excess orotate in the blood in UMP synthase enzyme deficiency. Now let's move on to see orotic aciduria causes then the clinical manifestation and treatment for orotic aciduria. Now the orotic aciduria it 
it the inherited aortic aciduria is because of defect in UMP synthase which is a bifunctional enzyme which is combination of OPRT that is orotate phosphoribacil transferase and OMP decarboxylase. Now if there is a defect in this bifun bifunctional enzyme where both the enzyme activities are down that will give rise to a type 1 aortic aciduria. If there is a defect only in OMP decarboxylase, it will give rise to type 2 aortic aciduria. Now, apart from this autosomal recessive inherited inheritance pattern type 1 and type 2 aortic aciduria, so the aortic aciduria in general, it can be caused by defect or deficiency in urea cycle enzyme called ornithin transcarbomylase. Now, ornithine transcarbomylase in the mitochondrial matrix in the urea cycle, it's going to condense or mm, carbomyl phosphate with ornithine to make citrulline. If ornithine transcarbomylase is deficient, so it means there will be elevation of carbomyl phosphate in the mitochondria, which will leak out into the cytoplasm and gets into pyrimidin biosynthesis and ultimately it will increase uh, intermediate in pyrimidine biosynthesis that is aortic acid giving rise to aortic aciduria. Now the Reyes syndrome is in this particular syndrome there will be damage to mitochondrial membrane because of this what happens urea cycle carbomyl phosphate it leaks out into the cytoplasm and that will give rise to accumulation of aortic acid because carbomyl phosphate from mitochondria into the cytoplasm it will participate it will get into pyrimidine biosynthesis now allopurinol as a side effect it can give rise to aortic aciduria it is because allopurinol competes with aortic acid for aortate phosphoribosyl transferase enzyme because of this competition aortic acid stay back because allopurinol will be used as a substrate by aortate phosphoribosyl transferase so that can give rise to aortic aciduria. Overall, what do you see in aortic aciduria? What are the clinical signs and symptoms? One of the prominent clinical sign, and, uh, sign that you are going to see here is megaloblastic anemia. Note that aortic aciduria patients, so they will show megaloblastic picture and that megaloblastic anemia which do not respond to vitamin B12 and cobalamin, sorry, the folate. So the megaloblastic anemia that you see in aortic aciduria do not respond to vitamin B12 and folate. Why do you see megaloblastic anemia in the first place? Megaloblastic anemia is seen in aortic aciduria it is because pyrimidines are not synthesized here or pyrimidine synthesis is decreased. When the pyrimidine synthesis is decreased it means DNA and RNA synthesis is decreased that means nucleus size is less, cytoplasm compensates, that will give rise to nucleocytoplasmic disproportion, giving rise to megaloblast red blood cells. Some of the patients with aortic aciduria, they will show microcytic hypochromic red cells. And this microcytic hypochromic anemia here, it do not respond to iron and pyridoxine. Normally, microcytic hypochromic anemia responds to iron and pyridoxine, but here in aortic aciduria causes because of accumulation of aortic acid and deficiency of pyrimidines, so that's why it do not respond to iron and pyridoxine. Now, aortic aciduria patients will show excess aortate in urine giving rise to crystal formation leading to aortate crystal urea. Patients with aortic aciduria can, can, will, will have mental retardation. And also these patients will have developmental delay and they will be having immune deficiency. So these are some of the signs that you are going to see in aortic aciduria. What is the treatment for aortic aciduria? You need to give uridine to these patients. Once you give uridine, so uridine can be converted to uridine, monophosphate, uridine diphosphate, uridine triphosphate and uridine triphosphate can be converted to cytidine triphosphate on the other side. Uridine diphosphate can be converted to uridine monophosphate, deoxyuridine diphosphate, deoxyuridine monophosphate, and then deoxyuridine thia, sorry, deoxythymidine monophosphate (TMP). So overall, you can synthesize pyrim all pyrimidines by giving uridine. That's why 
the most important therapy for aortic aciduria is uridine and majority of patients with aortic aciduria with you uh, by giving you by taking uridine supplementation they will have a resolution in megaloblastic anemia microcytic hypochromic picture and also other signs and symptoms will be significantly improved with uridine treatment i hope this video has helped you in understanding aortic aciduria much more uh, in a simple way so if you like the video so please give thumbs up so that i know you like the video and uh, for regular updates you can consider subscribing to my channel have a good day everyone thank you for watching again